IT Ways welcomes to you in this video. If you are connected to real estate business then this software will helps you a lot. We are going to describe some functionality of this software also customization is available according to you. Now we come to the point and let's start. We just logged into the, the CRM, and this is the dashboard page. Here we can see the total attempted call, interested clients and total deals done. Also here is a dynamic chart, which indicates all the leads, that how many leads are in the panel, how many calls we attempted and unattempted, today's pending follow-up, old pending follow-ups, deal done status etc. Here you can see the last login detail, my account details, login history and logout. Now let's come to the side menu, and see what's inside the menu and working of all menu items. We can see the left menu items, like dashboard, clients, agents, projects, properties, leads, search leads, payments, agreements, master, setting and support. Ok, now we are going to create a new client. For the demo we are filling client name as a client name. Now we can see the list of all clients here, also we can view client details like payments done by client, agreement, registry, stamp duty, is completed or still pending, how many properties client purchased from us and when sell the property, with edit button, we can update or edit the details of clients. Another button is delete, if we don't require the client in our CRM then we can delete it. As same as above, we can add the agents in our CRM. It will help that which agents sell the property, or give the information of the property. We can see the agent history in this agent panel. Also we can delete if we don't require it anymore. Projects. In the project, we can add the projects and project details. Also we can see that how many properties we have under the same projects to sell. Properties In the properties area, we can add the property details we need to sell. Select project, fill property details, also we can mention here. If any agent involved, also we can mention the cost of property demanded by property owner. We can add amenities from master, after adding master amenities, it will be reflect on properties section to select. Leads. In Leads section we can add the new leads to call or reminder, just click on Add New Lead, fill all the details and select property type required by the customer, and source of the customer. It will define the source of customer, if customer comes by any agent, then select source as agent which is created earlier. We can also add property type and source of lead from master.
Fresh Lead Under Lead section. Here, only fresh leads will be display. You can say unattempted lead which is never called by us. Here we can update lead details, like customer requirements, budget, area. Also we can set the lead status and call status. And right side we can update the conversation with the client. It will appears once I set, lead status as attempted. We can also set the follow-up date, so it will remind us to call on same day. Also we can see all upcoming follow-ups on upcoming follow-up section. As well as upcoming follow-ups, we can see today's follow-ups, old pending follow-ups and also we can see all leads in the CRM. We can search the lead by name, number or any keywords. In payment section we can update the payments and balance of clients. We can see the payment history of the client. In the agreement section, we can update and see the details of agreement or registry. In master, we already used master section to create source, property type, amenities. In settings, we can create new user accounts and set their roles change passwords and check the login history. Also we can check the login history from top right corner section as I discussed earlier. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it, we can develop fully customized software according to your requirement, in very low budget. Thank you.